You know, it's a funny thing that one of the first things beginning photographers will learn about in the course of doing research online is that high ISO settings result in more digital noise. Now, I take on a lot of beginning students, a lot of real green photographers, and I'm trying to teach them about ISO settings and shutter speeds and apertures and focal lengths and all the basics of photography, and it's all new to them. But the one thing they do know is that higher ISO settings result in more noise. Uh, and that's the problem with the internet, is things that really aren't that big of an issue get blown way out of proportion. Digital noise is not nearly as big of an issue as people make it out to be. You know, it's funny, people will be talking about, oh, this new Nikon camera on the market, the, the ISO performance isn't as good as this other Canon camera. You look at this ISO 3200 image, it's too grainy for me, and uh, I never use it above ISO 800, the noise just gets unbearable and then all their pictures are ending up on Flickr and Facebook about that big. You're not gonna see noise that big. That's how most people's pictures are presented these days. They're printed on, they're, they're shown on computer screens and uh, camera phones and uh, tiny little displays where the pictures are not gonna display any sort of noise. Now, if you're printing big, if you're printing a wall size mural, yeah, you may wanna consider digital noise. But even then, if you're printing eight by 10, that's not big. Digital noise is not gonna show up that big. 16 by 20 isn't even that big. It's not gonna show up. So don't worry too much about digital noise. Uh, it's practically a non-issue with today's cameras. Modern day digital cameras are so good at reducing noise that it's almost not even worth talking about. Use whatever ISO you need to get the shot. When you're in low light, you may have to max out the ISO on your camera. No big deal. No one's gonna see it. No one's going to see that noise other than other photographers. Other photographers are going to see that noise, but who cares? Don't bother trying to impress other photographers. They're unimpressible. So if your pictures are ending up on the internet that big, don't worry about digital noise. If you're printing huge, maybe consider it, but even then, don't even let it prevent you from taking a shot. So that's the scoop on digital noise. Don't worry too much about it. Use whatever ISO you need. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see this information summarized in writing, there's a link to the blog post uh, in the description of this video. And as always, if you want more articles, tips, how-tos, and some online photography courses, head on over to my website at nickcarverphotography.com. And thanks for watching.